So get a breast pump, a really good breast pump. I usually recommend Medela. They're a brand that I definitely trust. And this is the reason why feeding a baby after one year is just stressful. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Eh? Hi guys, welcome back to African Lady and a Baby. It's me again, Stephanie Bucky. <laughs> Today, I want to come and talk to you guys about tips for exclusive breastfeeding. The other day, I did a video on um, breastfeeding and apparently people really do want to know about breastfeeding. And I understand this. It's very understandable because a lot of us um, do struggle, especially in the beginning with breastfeeding. And it's very, very hard for most women and so many women are just searching for how to breastfeed and trying to learn how to improve their breast milk supply and things like that and so of course i've decided that i need to do a second video to just hit more points that i probably didn't cover in my previous video on the tips that i have for new mothers on breastfeeding so the first one i'd like to stress <laughs> is hydration it's very important to stay hydrated in your breastfeeding journey while you're breastfeeding it's very very important to drink lots of water because the breast milk is about 80 percent 80 to 90 percent water and the remaining is the other nutrients that are very ben beneficial to the baby and so obviously if you are producing so much water for your baby you actually do need to be staying hydrated so that your breast milk can you know continue to be produced and if you're not hydrated honestly your breast milk supply will dwindle and that's why breastfeeding is so 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 important sorry that's why hydration is so 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 important another little tip that i have for mothers is to feed on demand and on schedule or schedule as I pronounce it <laughs> I only said schedule because I'm in the US anyway right so um so a lot of people do advise mothers to feed on demand but I say de on demand and on schedule and the reason I say this is because sometimes that baby's demand <laughs> especially if the baby is really sleepy and the baby is not very alert sometimes babies would rather sleep than eat and so you're the one who would have to actually wake that baby up to feed because it, so in that in cases like that if you say you're just going to do on demand and the baby does not demand for about five six hours what are you doing you have to wake the baby up you know especially in the first month when the baby is still babies need to be fed at least every three four hours so that they don't get dehydrated and you know all of these things that happen so it's very important to feed both on demand and on schedule to just time yourself know when last you fed your baby in case the baby doesn't want to eat for another few hours you can then try to prompt the baby to feed one little thing that i feel i should just let you guys know is that when i started breastfeeding and i was always leaking on the other breast so i would have my baby on one breast then i'd be leaking on the other breast i didn't understand what was going on nobody told me that that could happen i i never knew not even youtube videos no nobody told me and apparently it is something that happens when you breastfeed on one side, the other side is also stimulated and the milk starts to flow out. Now, do not panic. Don't worry. It's very normal. You can catch it if you want to. I used to catch mine. I would have another cup at hand and I would always like put the cup there and catch my other milk. Because for me, my milk is gold and I, I just didn't like wasting milk. But now that my baby is over one year old and I'm still breastfeeding, I really don't care anymore about catching because to be fair, So guys, <laughs> Denver clearly wanted boobies. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, as I was saying, let me just make sure you guys can't see my nipples. <laughs> right. 
So yeah, um, you will lick on one side and it's very normal. And now that my baby is much older and I don't really care too much if he stops breastfeeding now, I don't mind. Now, obviously, like I don't struggle to catch the leaking milk. But if you want to catch yours, you totally can. Now, another thing you should do when you've just started breastfeeding, especially, is to switch breasts on every feed. Actually, throughout breastfeeding, I think it's important. When, if you feed on the right side, one on, you know, if you feed, feed on the right side now, make sure you feed on the left side during your next feed. Always switch breasts. It's very, very important because you will end up having one boob one boob bigger than the other because one boob is going to produce more milk if you focus on that one boob all the time so it's very important to always switch breasts so that you know it's it, it stays balanced i kind of made that mistake and this side for me produces much more milk than this side and so if you if you look closely you'll find that my right boob is probably slightly bigger than my left boob but yeah another tip i have for you guys is to always have milk on reserve like you should always have milk stored in your freezer especially in the first year of your baby's life you should have like you know when you pump that's the reason why you should pump when you pump milk always keep milk in like a storage bag and keep them in the freezer they're, they're best in the freezer never just leave them in the fridge they can only last in the fridge for about three days but they can last in the freezer for for three to six months depending depending on the strength of your freezer so it's always good to have some milk on reserve one other thing and this is a very little tip i don't know how much this helps but i was also told not to use pacifiers particularly in the first month of the baby's life because your baby will probably now end up just liking pacifiers more than your boobs and you want your boobs to be your baby's priority and your baby's number one go-to so it's just important to keep away from pacifiers or dummies for the first one month then you should also know that your milk will increase and will change in quality to meet your baby's needs in that first year of life so in the first i mean we all know that the minute you give birth and the first drop of milk that come out are called colostrum and colostrum is very 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 crucial it's, it's filled it's loaded with antibodies and it's just it, it, it's, it's one of the best ways to pass on immunity in that very early stage when the baby is still very vulnerable um, so colostrum is really like liquid gold and then after colostrum and it's usually very yellowy it's yellowy thick and then after colostrum you then have the normal milk that starts to flow out and it's whitish however over time your milk will increase so don't worry if you're only producing about 15 mils 30 mils in the first one month because that's probably what your baby needs as you grow as your baby grows you know and needs more milk by the say third fourth week your body will produce more milk by the time your baby is about five months, your body will be producing. I was, by the time I got to like four, three, four, five months, I was producing about 10 ounces. Yes, 10 ounces when I pumped at work. So this is 10 ounces each time I pumped. When, you know, when I ate well, but when I didn't really eat too well, I would produce about five ounces, six ounces or seven ounces so yes you will produce a lot of milk especially if you pump um over time and the quality of your milk will also change to meet your baby's needs so don't worry too much another question that women tend to ask at that stage when breastfeeding is oh do i know if my, my baby has had enough do, my, do i know if my baby is full or does my baby need more milk the good thing is babies tend to eat as much as they need they're not like adults that will overeat or under eat or they're, they're not dieting <laughs> they will eat as much as they need just don't worry too much feed your baby as long as your baby wants to and once your baby stops feeding your baby is fine and your baby is good so that's just god's way of making 
it's easy for you so don't worry too much once your baby stops feeding trust me your baby is good the only time i feel like you should worry is if your baby hasn't eaten in about five six hours then i would you know try to feed my baby and if my baby is still refusing food then it's time to call your doctor so a few things that i feel you will need in the first you know while you're exclusively breastfeeding in the first year very important i've said this before i said this a couple of times i've said this and i will say it again you need a breast pump it's a pricey investment but it's for your baby's food and so i feel like it's worth it so get a breast pump a really good breast pump i usually recommend medela they're a brand that i definitely trust and this is the reason why feeding a baby after one year is just stressful look at look at this look at this eh? like plum sugar anyway yeah get a breast pump it's very helpful it will help it serves two purposes the first one is it keeps your breast milk supply going because we know it's demand and supply and if you're constantly pumping even when your baby is not probably feeding very well sometimes god forbid your baby might be sick you know if you constantly can continue pumping you will continue to produce milk and then the second thing that it helps to do is to get that your milk reserve going just in case because anything can happen with women if something happens and you stop producing milk if you have some reserve and you want to continue feeding your baby with breast milk exclusively you will have some milk stored up you will definitely have enough milk stored up i had milk that could go on for months even if i stopped breastfeeding another thing i feel you should have is a hot water bottle and you may not know why but there are a couple of times when i found that i've needed some type of warm compress and so a hot water bottle is just going to ease that it's going to help you know if you have like a clogged milk duct or something or you're, you're coming down with mastitis or something of that nature it's always good to have something warm to press on your um, breasts because it will help to stimulate or just to help get the things going the milk flowing <laughs> so yeah i have a hot water bottle hot water bottle handy it will definitely help you you should also have a good nursing bra you cannot do with the bras you used to have those bras will not work they're just it's not going to be comfortable it's just not going to be great so just make sure to have a good nursing bra bra and um i have some links down below in one of my previous videos where i talked about the things you would need if you're breastfeeding and going back to work so please check out one of my videos and you will see some there you can always buy on amazon they're cheap they're nice and easy and it's just very good it makes everything comfortable for you another thing i think you should have is breast pads because you will leak as i said earlier and if you're in public and you're leaking it's going to be a bit embarrassing when you just have milk pouring down so have some breast pads handy i recommend i really recommend reusable breast pads they're just safer and better for the environment and um yeah they're, they're nice you can just chuck them in the washing machine or even hand wash them they're really really good i have reusable ones and they will save you a lot of money as well instead of buying like breast pads that you have to throw away all the time just buy reusable ones but you can still buy i mean you can still buy breast pads that are not reusable those ones can they, i mean i believe they can come in handy if you're traveling they would be also work well but yeah just make sure you have breast pads you'll you'll need them and then you should also have nursing covers if you're breastfeeding in public i mean you should you you don't have to you don't have to but you know if you just don't want if you want to cover up and you don't want everyone looking at your booby boobies it's just nice to have nursing covers they are also quite helpful and then the last and the final thing and you know i know this is not everything there's probably one or two other things i've missed out and if you feel i've missed out on anything that you think is crucial just leave a comment below as i always say but anyway the last thing i would recommend is to have a burp cloth because your baby will spit up 
and your baby will probably vomit on your body. So it's just nice to always have a butt cloth handy so that you can, um, you can wipe up. <laughs> I mean, that's straightforward. I don't need to explain too much. I think I've said everything I have to say, guys. You can already see that Denver is not letting me talk freely. He's just here bugging on my booby. <laughs> So on that note, I'm going to have to say bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this, please share it with any, anyone that you feel might find this helpful. Share it with your friends, family, co-workers, frenemies, anybody at all that you feel will enjoy this. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.